So, welcome to Card World, I'm Sean. I am going to do a review of some gloves for you today. Um, yeah, winter's here, so we want to keep warm. And what I've got is, I've also got a whole range of old gloves, and the idea with that is to show you what I've tried before and give you an idea of my thinking with the new gloves as well. So here we go, put it on the tripod so you can have a look. And let's introduce you to some new gloves. But first, the old gloves, and to get a feeling for what we're looking at. Now, here's some old open palm gloves. Um, they last, you know, all the way around your fingers, is, there's nothing there. All the protection's on the back, so they last well. Not the warmest gloves in the world, but they do the job. Then I've used the Mystic uh, Razor Glove, which is a 5mm glove, and the Cure Glove, which is a 3mm glove. Um, again, common wear factor wear is around the fingers, so where you're catching onto the bar and everything. Uh, these have a liquid seam lining around the seams um, that generally wears away fairly quickly, and with the protection on the back, you know that works. So still warm gloves, but the wear factor is pretty much the same on those. Nice gloves. Then I have my dive gloves with a leather palm, um, pretty durable glove, but again these are not exactly, not exactly warm gloves, but durability was pretty good with them, and um, I even use them for kite bugging. Then my favourite gloves have been my Mystic three finger gloves, um, I've had these now for quite a few years and surprisingly long, I mean there is a hole on the thumb, but generally these have lasted really well. Uh, flame skin on the back so helped with the wind protection but it is a 5mm glove all the way around so it's not pre-shaped. It was a very heavy glove you know, to use um, but it was warm being the main factor. So quite nice gloves. Then what I've been looking for a replacement for those was this last year I tried a three finger mitt from Neil Pride. It's a full flame skin glove super comfortable, super flexible, super warm and not durable. Um, I put on extra material to try and give it some protection unfortunately that did not work. Any small little cut um, gets worse if you didn't sort it out straight away. They rubbed away fairly quickly um, so as gloves go that was a bit of a letdown. So big disappointment unfortunately. So having that in my mind, when I'm looking now at some 2018 models from Ripkill, I've got the 3.2mm five-fingered flash bomb glove, and I've also got the 5.3mm three-fingered glove. So, let's have a look at the 3.2 first. Now, the 3.2 having a look at it, the, oh, the back of the glove here, around the back of your hand, that is 3mm. The rest of the glove, from the cuff all the way to the inside, that is 2mm. You have a liquid print for grip, and the lining for the seals is actually a, a material, so that is going to last a lot longer. Um, the neoprene is very stretchy and flexible, so I think I'm going to be pretty happy with that. Turning the cuff, the seal is on the inside to help minimize extra water coming in. And the magic stuff, the flash lining. And that is through the whole glove through to the fingers. So that's going to make that into a very warm glove. Um, yeah, okay, so let's put it on. So very easy to get on. Uh, the seal is not a problem. I thought it might be pushing against my hand, but it's not. Uh, pulling them on, nice. Very comfortable. Now, that's pre-shaped. So this is my hand in a relaxed position. Um, so that means hanging onto the bar is not gonna be a problem. Squeezing in takes nothing. I mean, two millimeters is nothing to squeeze them on. Um, so that is actually a very comfortable glove. So I can definitely feel that three millimeter across the back. So that is definitely going to be a warm glove. Very comfortable. 
Um, the print is not as sticky as you think it would be. I've had that on pretty sticky on some of the older models. Um, it was a bit of a pain in the butt, but that, that's pretty good. It's a very comfortable glove. And with that seal, that is definitely going to minimize that water coming in when you, whether you put it under the suit or if you're putting it over the suit. So let's pop them off. Okay, so that's a warm glove. I think, you know, for a 3 2 millimeter glove, for aiming for winter, if you're a person that can handle a little bit more cold, um, I reckon your hand is going to be fairly warm in that uh, while you're moving around. I don't believe you're going to get overly cold with that kind of glove. I th think the lining is going to sort of give it the feeling that it's a 5 mil glove, yet you've got this flexibility of a 2 to 3 mil glove. That is going to be very interesting to see how it performs over this winter. Um, so. Moving on to the 5.3 three, three finger glove. Pop that out of the way, yeah. um, okay, so same construction again. You've got the liquid print. The lining for the seams is a material, so that's going to be nice. Um, again, very flexible glove. Uh, looking to it. You definitely see the 5mm stands out straight away as being on the back of the hand and that is definitely a 3mm that's running across the inside of the glove. So looking good and again nice long cuff, turning the cuff. You've got a nice big seal again on there so again minimizing the water flow coming in. And full flash bomb 2000. 2018 lining. Now the 2018 lining is a lot thinner than the older models. So yeah, looks very nice. Okay, so let's try that on. Yeah. Fairly easy to get on, not a problem there at all. Again, the seal is not an issue. I thought I really thought the seals were going to be pushing on the arm, but no. So, not cutting off the blood flow in any way. Again, pre-shaped glove. So, hanging onto the bar with a relaxed hand is quite easily done. There's me squeezing in, and that takes nothing to do it. Very, very comfortable. So, I think I might have a new favorite glove. So it's going to be interesting to see the durability of it. You know, with the jersey material, it should by definition be a much better durable glove in that sense. So I expect that to last a lot longer. Um, it's going to be interesting to see how the seams hold out. But that, that is very, very nice and super comfortable. All right, I'm going to pop that off. Okay, that was a warm glove. My hand is pretty sweaty after that. Um, yeah, so looking at the two gloves, if you're a person that definitely wants warmth, um, definitely take up the three finger mat. The three millimeter on the inside makes that actually into a very nice, comfortable glove to wear. I don't see you getting very tired wearing that glove at all. Um, but that is definitely a very warm glove. Comparison to the 3.2 with the full lining, I think this is basically effectively giving you what feels like a 5mm glove and a 3.2, so you've got a lot of flexibility in that in this glove. So for those that can handle a little bit of cold and still want the 5 fingers, I think you've really got a winner there. So that looks very, very nice. Um, so one thing to note, um, the sizing is a little bit different. You need to try them on to find out which is your sizing. They are not the standard sizes. Um, I used a size larger and I'm now on a smaller one with these. So you need to try them on. The ripcall sizing is a little bit different. Um, but apart from that, that was all very, very nice gloves. So I'm looking forward to a warm winter this year. So check them out.